Do you need a huge collection? Well, my answer to that question is absolutely not. And as a matter of fact, I'm about to tell you guys about the only five fragrances you're ever going to need. That's it. After this, there shall be no more. Thank me later. Let's discuss this. <laughs> YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Darian. I am the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, and I talk about primarily fragrances on this channel, but I do throw in some style advice as well. Be a well-rounded gentleman. How about that? That's what we discuss over here. So if you're into that kind of content, I hope you won't mind subscribing to the channel. Now make sure you hit that bell icon as well, so that way anytime I upload a new video, you're going to be one of the first people to get notified. So guys, you heard the question that I posed in the opening of this video. Do you need a huge collection? Absolutely not. Is there anything wrong with that? Absolutely not. If you do have a huge collection, but what I want to do today, guys, is I want to give you guys the only five fragrances that you're going to need for the rest of your life. Now, you don't have to choose the exact five fragrances that I'm going to list, but I am going to give you five great recommendations. But what I do recommend that you utilize is the, the purpose and the logic behind what I am going to give you today as it relates to why these five fragrances and what occasions or purposes that they serve in your collection. So if you want to see what I have on the list, then you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump right into this video. Listen, guys, nobody's doing this like me, man. I'm about to give you guys not only the five fragrances that, that you're going to need, but I'm also going to give you the logic behind it. All right. The logic behind why you would need these five fragrances or these five fragrance types in your collection. Guys, let's face it. Most of the uh, people that where fragrances in the world don't fall into the category that a lot of you that may watch this video are going to fall into. And I will be quite honest with you, I'm really making this for a lot for those guys, all right? Those guys that only have the one to 10 fragrances in their arsenal, this video is gonna be extremely beneficial for them. But don't get me wrong, you guys out there that are frag heads as we are affectionately known out there in the world could really benefit from this video as well, just as it pertains to the knowledge sometimes and figuring out what exactly do I need in my fragrance collection. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, so the first fragrance that you're gonna need is what I call the Grab and Go fragrance, all right? This is going to be one that no matter where you are going, all right, you can throw this fragrance on and you don't really have to think about it twice. Running errands, going to the barber shop, uh, going to a rehearsal, I mean, I don't care a basketball game, a football game, or some type of a sporting event. This is a fragrance that you know I can grab and go. I don't have to think much about it. It's going to work in most settings. It's going to be inoffensive to most people and it's gonna be well received by most people. Now, another thing, uh, um, thing that I ascribe to this particular fragrance in this category is price point. A lot of times your grab and go scent is something that's not going to cost a lot of money. So how do you achieve that? to get something that you don't mind how much and how much you spray it or when you spray it. And it's not going to cost a lot, but it's also going to be something that's really mass appealing. I've got the perfect fragrance for you. And I'm going to give you some even more logic behind this fragrance as well. This fragrance you're going to find for under $30 in mostly any place that fragrances are sold. And it's from a company called Armop. And this is Club de Nuit Intense Man. Yeah, I know most of you frag heads have heard about this fragrance. I get it. But understand why I'm giving uh, a show on this fragrance and, and putting it in this category and the logic behind it. Of course, you're going to get the birch, the pineapple, the apple, the vanilla. This fragrance is what's called a clone of a very popular fragrance called Creed Aventus. Now, I also chose this fragrance not only because it's perfect for the grab and go category, but the whole Creed Aventus thing. Listen, when you get into fragrances, you're going to hear about Creed Aventus. Now, 
the bottles that they're putting out now, the batches that they're putting out now is, is really, it's a shell of what it used to be. But I do have proof in a 2017 batch of Creed Adventures that at one point in time, it was the best fragrance on the planet. And actually that batch of Creed Adventures still to me is my favorite fragrance. The 2017 uh, N01 batch that I have of Creed Adventures is, is just next level. But this is what we call a clone. It smells about 97% just like that 2017 batch of Creed Adventures that I have in my collection. So instead of you spending money on a newer batch of Creed Adventures, which is still gonna cost you in most places you look over 300, even at discounters. And again, it's not what, the fragrance is not what it used to be. So instead of you buying one of those batches of Creed Adventures, or trying to find an older batch that's gonna sincerely cost you an arm and a leg, go with this right here. This is a well-received scent DNA. It is proven. The success of that fragrance was proven because how many people have bought it and how many companies have tried to, tried to clone that fragrance DNA. And to me, from a cost perspective, this is the best thing that you're gonna find that's gonna get you close to that scent DNA. So I highly recommend this fragrance for your grab and go. Uh, category again most places you go people are going to love how you smell and it's not going to break the bank so check this one out for your grab and go this is from the house of Armand this is Club Day Nui intense man now whether you are single or married I hope that you are still dating all right so uh, another category that we're going to cover here is your date night category you got to have something for those more close encounters those more uh, intimate uh, settings and I've got the perfect fragrance for you uh, guys remember one of the things I took into consideration on this list is cost as well because I'm talking to a really wide audience here not just the frag heads I would have to have a totally different fragrances for these categories that we're just talking my favorites and we're talking to the frag heads but we're thinking more general those guys that have that zero to ten fragrance um, collection this fragrance is from the brand of Dolce & Gabbana this is the one eau de parfum doesn't get much better than this, guys, when you talk about date night fragrances. What you're going to get here is some cardamom, orange blossom, amber, and tobacco. So that orange blossom is really sweet. And to me, again, I always say orange blossom to me almost gives a creamy nuance as well. But it definitely gives sweetness to tobacco here. And, of course, there's an amber accord. Uh, so it's kind of sweet. This fragrance is really, really, really sexy. And it's really about that cardamom in here, too, that gives that sweet spiciness really really sexy note note of cardamom when using fragrances oftentimes and that's what you're going to get here guys i still say to me this is definitely one of the top three date night designer fragrances that's ever been created and it ain't even close now some people are going to argue about performance but again four hours that's all you need for most dates if so if you are going somewhere where it requires more than that just you know again Take a small decant and reapply if necessary, but dates really don't last that long, guys, if we're being honest. So this per this fragrance is perfect for date night scenarios. From the brand of Dolce & Gabbana, this is the one, and this is the Eau de Parfum concentration. All right, guys, now your next category, you're gonna need a signature scent. This is the scent that you are known for. This is what you probably wear uh, more often than anything else, maybe the only fragrance that you wear almost as much as this is your grab and go fragrance. But this is what your people know you for. When they see you come and they know you for this scent, you and this scent are almost synonymous with one another. Um, now, one of the things I want to recommend for your signature scent is that you step up a little bit in price. You don't want to smell like everybody else. Yeah, you could wear a fragrance like Dior Sauvage or a fragrance like uh, Dylan Blue, which are fragrances that I love. But for this particular category, spend a little bit more money, guys. All right. For this category, I highly recommend your higher end designer fragrances because a lot of guys don't want to spend that much money on fragrances. Oftentimes with a high end designer fragrance, you're looking at about that $250 price point and up. So I would recommend spending between $250 to maybe $350. You have some great private collections out there, like uh, from YSL. Uh, the Christian Dior has the La Collection Privé collection of fragrances. Tom, Tom Ford has a private collection. And so look at some of those fragrance brands to find a high-end designer that's going to kind of separate you from the pack for your signature scent. 
So one that I chose today to talk to you guys about is from YSL's private collection and this fragrance is called Caban. Caban, perfect signature scent. You can wear it anytime, any place, anywhere, and you're going to smell amazing. You can wear this to an office. You honestly can wear this date night. Again, a signature scent can be worn any place and any time of the year. And this is the perfect signature scent in my humble opinion. Uh, it's kind of spicy when it opens up with this combination of black pepper, pink pepper, and elemy, which is kind of a resin that has a spicy nuance to it uh, as well. So it's really spicy when it opens up. But what I love about this and the game changer in this fragrance is a note called Osmanthus. Now to me, Osmanthus kind of acts in the same way that Fig acts in fragrances as well. Uh, it almost has this really almost creamy, milky nuance. Pause. But I really love what it does to a fragrance. It almost gives off a sweetness as well. And it's a beautiful accord or note of Osmanthus in this fragrance. And then when it dries down, guys, it gets really, really good. Uh, that sandalwood contributes to that creaminess in this fragrance as well. And then you also have some patchouli uh, in this fragrance. So again, a little bit of sweetness from taco bean, the perfect signature scent. Perfect signature scent can be worn anytime, any place, anywhere, and it's going to smell amazing. Step up a little bit in price, guys, for your signature scent so that you can separate yourself from the pack with something amazing like this from the brand of YSL, their private collection. This is called Caban. All right, guys, another category that you want to cover is your office safe fragrances, okay? Something that you could wear in the office. In other words, this is going to be a really inoffensive fragrance, all right? Um, something that you can be in a group of people, and whether somebody is really into fragrances or not, it's really not going to offend anybody. And a fragrance that I highly recommend is from the brand of Prada, and this is Prada Lone. This is Prada Lone. What you're going to get here is Neroli Iris violet amber uh, and sandalwood and the main note here is the iris and the violet because those are the powdery notes and there is this is a really really powdery fragrance really powdery but it's not feminine guys this is, still has a very masculine uh kind of um feel to the fragrance so don't worry about that when i say the word powdery it still works but again powdery fragrances citrus fragrances these are really uh, typically and traditionally really safe for an office environment. And that's really uh, what you're going to get here, guys. So make sure you check this one out. If you're looking for something that's office safe, which I highly recommend, this is from the brand of Prada, and this is called Prada Loan. All right, guys, and last but not least, you're going to need something that is what I call a showstopper. Something that when you are going to those special events, anything, maybe black tie or where you have to wear a suit, um, whether it be some type of gala, you know, a special event, you need something that I call a showstopper. When you walk into an environment, you know you're going to be the best smelling guy in the room. Now, fragrance that I have represented here for that category is from the brand Amazing Francis Kirkton, and this is called Oud Satin. Ooh, satin mood. Look at that bottle. The bottle even looks classy. Guys, this is an absolute showstopper right here. You're going to get Oud Rose Violet. Oh, man, this is so good. This is unbelievably good. Bulgarian and Turkish rose in here. Guys, don't be afraid as a gentleman to wear rose fragrances. Rose fragrances are game changers. I think Lyric Man from I'm Watch was my introduction to rose fragrances, and I have not looked back. Women really respond to rose fragrances because roses are the flower that, of course, we buy for women most times for a special occasion. It's the flower that gets to a woman's heart, all right? So when a guy wears rose, it comes off different most of the time on masculine skin. And again, we have two varieties of rose here, but it's offset by that ooh, which is a really kind of rough, deep, rich, woody uh, note. Uh, of course, oud, but it's played so well and balanced so well with the rose. It, those two things play harmoniously with one another uh, in this fragrance. And of course, you get that powderiness, powderiness when it dries down uh, from the violet. This thing is absolutely phenomenal, guys. Oh, man. 
Guys, you got to get your nose on this stuff. Seriously, I love this fragrance and I think it is the perfect show stopper. So get yourself a showstopper to kind of round out your collection. And I recommend this one from the brand of Mason Francis Kirkjohn. Again, it's called Oud Satin Mood. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be very informative. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and I appreciate your attention to these videos. I know you guys don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darian. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.